So let's talk about licensing. What is licensing? What's up, everybody? I want to talk to you about a very commonly asked question is about uh, licensing. People always hear the word licensing and there's a lot of information out there. I'm gonna generally just talk about the general mindset of licensing, what is licensing, and maybe some tips. But remember, anything that I share with you, please go out and do your own homework. Do not be one of those people that somebody shares something with you and you think you know it all, and then somebody says they can solve all your problems with this pill or this call or this thing, and all the problems say, uh, you know, they cannot do that. So even if you go and look at my curriculum and other things, check into them and, um, and, but maybe if you've been following me for years, you know that obviously I mean all the best. But so let's talk about licensing. What is licensing? Well, licensing can be inbound licensing and outbound licensing. So inbound licensing means that you are basically taking, leasing a name, an intellectual property from somebody, slapping it on something or creating something and paying that person or that company a big. This is a bottle of water here. It is from Poland Spring. If I had a soap company and I said, hey, Poland Spring, or whoever owns Poland Spring, I'm probably one of the big boys and girls, I would like to license the Poland Spring name. Well, they may say, all right, what do you want to license for? I want to license it for the category of soap and bath bombs. All right, well, Mr. John, Poland Spring would like 10% of your gross revenue for the license. And we will give you that license for three years or five years or seven years. A lot of times the license is three years or five years. There are some business deals where the license is in perpetuity. That's a different type of license we're talking about. now. What is my obligation? We will give it to you. I will take the license for three years or five years. I will give them 10% of my gross sales. If I do $10,000, I owe them $1,000. Now, they're gonna ask me for upfront payment, minimum guarantee of sales. And what that may be is, all right, well, we want 10%. You will have an upfront payment of $5,000. And the first year you do 10,000, the second year you gonna do 20,000, the third, you know, 30 or 40, and you agree upon it. And so they wanna guarantee that the first year you do 10,000, you owe them $1,000, no matter what. You can do 5,000 and you still owe them the $1,000. But if you go over the 10,000, you owe 10% of whatever that is. If you do 20,000, you owe them $2,000. You understand? And what happens is you may say, okay, fine. Then you negotiate other terms. The terms may be, we as Poland Spring wanna make sure you're in line with our products. So we want to approve all marketing materials that you will use. We will approve the stores you sell in. We don't want you to sell it in super low stores or we will approve the pricing. We just don't want you to charge X amount of dollars. The styles. It can go into anything and everything. And there are some automatic renewals. In the event that you sell what you said you would, 10,000 first year, second, third, fourth, third, after three years, if you hit all those marks, you can have an automatic renewal for another two or three years at these terms, could be the same exact term. So that is when you go and take a license from somebody and your responsibility is everything. You gotta make the soap, you gotta ship the soap, you gotta pay for your employees, you gotta take in the returns, you gotta do all that. All right, that is when you take in a license. My uh, guys at Sunstash does really well. They have the glasses and they have every license from Marvel to Hello Kitty to all these other kind of licenses. It's very much the same when it's an outbound license. Now, this is where people are most interested in. They have something and they want to license it. It could be a technology. So it could be like, you know, uh, a certain type of technology that you're licensing somebody, or it could be a brand like you own your Polar Spring. And what you do when you outbound license, it's the same exact thing. 
right? You get some form of, and hopefully you get an advance. You may or may not get an advance, depending on the value of the license. You get a percentage. Now, what are the percentages? All right, so somebody like a Disney, it's standard for a Disney to be anywhere from, from a hot category, hats, t-shirts, of course, right? You, you wanna see Cinderella, you wanna see Mickey Mouse, hats, t-shirts, lollipops, candy. I'm sure that their license can range anywhere from 10% to 15%. The highest generally is around 15%. But licensing can also go all the way down as 1%. Why? Well, uh, the person who is asking you for the license may say, I'm selling to Walmart. My margin is not a big margin. I'm not making 50% or 80%. I'm making 20%, 10%. And, or, you know, you see this a lot in electronics. So I can only pay you 1% because at the end of the day, I'm only making 6%, right? So that is uh, sometimes why a license can go to, you know, the high is 15. Uh, the lowest I've really seen is 2 to 3%. Um, so when you think about that, when you think that you have something. Now, here's an important thing. A lot of people come to me and say, Damon, can you give me a license? Well, why does somebody want to pay for your license? You know, FUBU is a valuable license. It's globally recognized. Um, it really covers the category of hip hop. It's been well known in clothing. But could FUBU go into hotels? Yes, there could be FUBU hotels out there. And immediately when I say that to you, what do you think of? Well, hopefully you think of uh, Hard Rock, a hip hop version of the Hard Rock Hotel, right? The instruments that artists used to use in hip hop, the roots, imagine if we had the drums of, uh, Quest Love in one of them, or the outfit that Diddy wore, or Missy wore in a boom, boom, meep, beep, beep, whatever the case is, right? So that is why the FUBU license can range from 3% if it's something that has low margin and is in mass, mass market, or 15%. So you can also license territories. You can say, hey, what we did in FUBU initially was, if you have, if you're in Japan, we will license you the FUBU brand. You have to build four or five or six or 10, whatever, freestanding stores in one year, every year for three years, equates to 15 stores over the course of three years. Now your license reverts back to you after the term is over, three years, five years. You can also violate somebody for uh, breaching the contract and not doing the right thing by the license putting it in the wrong places, um, discounting the goods, making counterfeit. A lot of people are eager to issue licenses. Now there's a couple of things. If I have a product or an idea I just came up with, well, why should somebody else have that license? Why would they want that license? Is it a value? Do you know who the customer is? Why did you build up something? And that's the critical part. Remember, somebody is basically leasing your name because it's going to bring more value to what they have. If they already have some jeans and they sell their jeans for a hundred, well, if they take your license of whatever your name is, because it's maybe good in another category, can they sell that jean for, and let's say it's a 15% license, can they sell it for 115 and move more goods? Because if they can't move more goods and they can't raise the price, well, they might as well stay at their $100 jeans. If they were moving a thousand pair of $100 jeans a month and you bring in your license and now they got to pay you $15 and it didn't increase the sale of the jeans, well, now they're still moving the same amount of jeans, but now they're paying you a license. So can they move instead of 1,000 pair a month, 10,000 and move it at 115? You understand what I'm trying to get at now? Where can you find out more about licensing? Well, first of all, you need to know and own the property, whether it is a copyright, whether there's a patent, whether there's a trademark. You can go to USPTO, United States Patent Trademark Office, to learn more about this. The licensing show is actually coming up. There's a show for everything. Trust me, I spoke at funeral shows, I've spoken at logistics shows, and there's definitely a licensing show. And if you do not have money to go to the licensing show, it is Danny, when's the licensing show? May 24th. May 25th? It's May 24th to the 26th. May 24th to the 26th. Now I'm recording this now, it's 2022. It's going to be around the same time, 2023, all the way forever. But there's also some licensing shows in your 
local markets. Um, and if you can't afford to go to the show, I'm sure after everything has happened, you probably have a great online presence, Zoom and various other things. Go and educate yourself on whether it's licenses that are out there, whether it's licensing agents such as myself and my company, uh, whether it is licensing uh, that you want to try to get out and represent your own self, uh, or again, licenses that you want to take in and start to educate yourself on the licensing area if that's what you want to do. But to go over a couple of points, if you want to generally think about it, if you want to have a license that you want to sell to somebody else, well, where is the value of the license and why is it valuable for them? Also, if you are thinking about obtaining a license or issuing a license, there is an average that goes anywhere from 2% up to 15 and normal number is 8 maybe 10, maybe 12. We can get more sophisticated about it if you have basically the FUBU brand at one point, let's say our average license was 10%, and we then told everybody, well, we will all issue all these divisions, ladies, boots, bags, boys, whatever, we will issue the license for 10%, but you gotta pay an extra 2% because we're gonna bundle you all in with that 2% onto advertising. So now we will, by a larger spread in Source, Vibe, Rolling Stone Magazine, and your 2%, unless you, instead of having to go and advertise on your own, we'll bundle it all together, but we can get more sophisticated about that down the road. But here are the basics to licensing. And often, if you're talking about because you have an intellectual property and you're partnering with somebody, you can issue the company, the holding company, a license. That's a way of doing a deal. It's kind of like the difference of partnership and franchising you would have to go talk to an attorney about that. And any advice that I'm giving you, please always double check with an attorney if you are happening to go into a licensing contract. I'm just giving you the basics here. But uh, this is information you should just start off with when it comes to licensing. Good luck. Thanks for watching. I wish you love and power your life. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Check you later.